What's up everybody, Dark Cosmic here, back with another astrology video. Uh, because today the moon is in Leo, I'm going to do the moon in the fifth house video as well. That's I have a moon in Leo, so I believe I'm going to be able to talk about this place in it very well. There's a lot of weird noises going around, the wind's blowing, there's a gate swinging back and forth, the birds chirping. I don't know, every time there's a full moon, I always feel like nature's behaving very strangely around me, but um, I'm going to just continue with the video. So what happens when you have moon in the fifth house or moon in Leo? So this, these people like to react to entertainment. They like to react to their passions. They like to react to you. Um, they like to react to you as well in terms of like you being an audience member. They like to, you do something, they like to react as if they are on a stage and they're putting on a show for you. You know what I'm trying to say? So this is what these people like to do. Leo and the, I mean, Moon in the Fifth House people, they they like to react to just the things, generally speaking, to entertain them. And they, they want to be seen as an, almost an actor. Whenever you're, whenever you're talking to them, they feel like you, you automatically become their audience now. <laughs> you're having a conversation, but to the, in their head, they're looking at you like you're the audience member and now it's time for them to put on a show. So, um, Moon in the Fifth House people, generally speaking, they're very, they can be very prideful. They can be very um, self-centered, meaning they're thinking everything, they can be emotionally self-centered. They think everything revolves around them, emotionally speaking. Um, and that doesn't mean that wherever they go, they're going to, they're going to think that you guys should all be paying attention to them. They just want to be like that in their life. So, or in their, and more, more importantly, in their private life, they want to be like that. They don't, you can't just do things without considering them all the time. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not in a controlling way. It's more in like, hey, out of respect, just consider me. I consider, I'll consider you as well, you know? So they want to be center of focus. Um, but then you get like the super narcissistic type that everywhere they go on the center stage. So I'm not speaking of that type. That's the extreme case. But um, Moon and Leo people, their mothers, or Moon and Fifth House people, generally speaking, their mothers or their parents, their private life was full of uh, dramatic events. People, people didn't really know that behind closed doors there was a lot of wild shit happening. A lot of motion, emotions running high and low. Just a lot of bizarre stuff you would think, because Moon and Leo people, generally speaking, the way they portray themselves is in a very chilled out manner. They don't really like to, because they have, kind of like Cancer Moon, because they have that ability to be like, ah, they don't like that. You see how I scared you guys? <laughs> you didn't expect me to do that, because I have a Leo Moon, so I can be very reserved. But I also have a really bright and playful energy that I can just summon up out of nowhere it doesn't even matter it's like but generally speaking that's not the energy that I want to portray and that's not even that's not even me 24 7 that's just an ability for me to I can tap into that energy because I have that energy so these guys they like to entertain you know in the home they might want to put on a show for you they might want to put on an art show they might tell jokes they want you to have fun around them so and they want to they're gonna react dramatically. So, and with my experience, I've always ran into like particularly Aquarius people who always like to poke fun and bother me and whatnot because they want a reaction. They want to get, they want my cool exterior to be just shoveled now. So. <laughs> but yeah, um, Moon and Leo people to me, it's like this, like jazz hands. It's like, it's, it's, it's an entertaining energy and a self-centered energy. It's a prideful energy. It's a very passionate energy. And these guys, Moon in the Fifth House, Moon and Leo, nine times out of 10, they're very creative. Very creative. They absorb the outside world and they make it dramatic. They push it out in a dramatic way, in a creative and dramatic way. So you, you're talking to them you have that conversation, you can say, I don't know, you can say something like, I saw the, the other day, 
this guy tripped over and fell. Somebody's normal reaction might be, wow, that's terrible. Leo Moon's reaction is gonna be like, oh my God. It's, it's weird, it's like we don't, we add sauce to stuff. Everything we're gonna add is sauce to it, so. This is my Moon and Leo video. Hope you guys enjoyed it.